guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Um, today's video is about my vintage Sona signature kit behind me there, set up. Um, I've got a long history with Sona. My first decent kit, uh, which my parents bought me in 1990 when I was 14. Yes, I'm that old, do the math. Uh, it was a Sona Performer kit. In those days, all Sona drums were made in the same factory in Germany. Um, and then, like a lot of drum companies, they started making their cheaper sets in China in the early 90s. Uh, the kit I always wanted was the signature Bubinga uh, series, which they discontinued in the late 80s. And I believe the one I've got behind me is one of the last ones made, uh, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, let's take a look. So here it is, the Sona Signature Beach Bubinga kit um, from the late 80s. Uh, heavy beach shells on this one, you could get them in two configurations. This is the heavy. Uh, sizes are bass drum 20 by 17 and a half, which is unusual uh, and usually deep um, at the time. Of course, now all bass drums are 18s, um, but then they were 20 by 14 or 20 by 16. Uh, the rack toms are 10 by 10. It's a square size. All signature kits had uh, square size rack toms. Again, very unusual. The floor toms are 16 by 18. So it's really deep and a lovely sounding drum. Here's the signature badge. Horse link era. And then there's the legendary 14 by 8 uh, snare drum, which weighs about 30 or 40 pounds. It's ridiculous. And it's got the... Um, parallel action snare mechanism um, either side which again is uh, one of those sort of over engineered features that this kit has so yeah there you go pretty cool so there's a quick tour of my current studio setup hope you enjoyed and uh, they're pretty rare these kits these days because they're getting on a bit uh, they do come up from time to time on eBay um, and they're still stupidly expensive um, they are great kits though, and I love Sona stuff. So enjoy the video clips, um, hope you like the sound of the kit, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.